Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. This is the third and final part of my trip through the Badger beers that I've got for you today. And as promised, the final one, Blanford Fly. Like I said before, I've not tried this one, I have tried the other two. This is a sweet and spicy golden ale according to the label. This is by far the strongest of the three, but still not a strong, strong ale. This one comes in at 5.2%. As with the last two, pound eighty for a 500ml bottle. So, let's have a look. Again, got the clear glass, but the last two didn't have any skunking, so we're going to assume that this one doesn't either. So, before I get into it, just want to apologise. On the last video, you may have heard a little bit of squeaking. That would have been Tyrion playing with his toys. Never worked with children or animals, they say. So here we go. Blandford Fly from Badger. Again, just a tiny amount of smoke off the bottle. Oh, now that's different. That, you can tell there is a sweetness in there. That's, mmm, that's definitely got a sweet and spicy kick there. Let's have a little bit. Pours nice and easily there. Again, we've got a nice crisp and clear white head to it. Again, nice clean and clear. See that? That's a nice golden colour. Completely clear beer. So, what am I getting on this one? This one is, there's a lot of sweetness in there. There's, there's caramel, there's toffee. That's that does smell rather delicious. Let's have a little look. Wow. That's good. That is a very nice ale. Now that, that sweetness really carries through. There's, there's no hop to it. Let's have a little look at the bottle, see what it says. So we've got a uniquely sweet and spicy golden ale. A refreshingly, refreshingly different ginger taste in its offset with hints of sweet toffee. Well, I'm not lying, that's for sure. You can definitely taste the ginger and you can definitely taste that toffee. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's rich, it, yet still well balanced. It's a very fine ale and that's Christmas. That is a Christmas drink right there. Yeah, you can imagine sitting down with a glass of that in front of a nice warm fire and just relaxing on a cold winter's evening. So, I'm going to rate that one. That's not my usual type of ale, but I am on a quest to find the best beers and ales. Definitely trying different ones that I haven't had before, and I'm not disappointed. We're going to pop that one straight up there with Hopping Hair. That's going to have an 8 out of 10. A definite 8 out of 10 on that one. So, we're going to rate the three together. Now, obviously we popped Thirsty Ferret. That was on a 7.5. Both of the Blandford Fly and the Hopping Hair. We've got... Hopping hair, Bradford fly. Both of those we popped as an eight. I do have to say, Hopping hair wins out overall against the three. All three were very nice. And at 180 a bottle, that's some definite value for money there. But for me, it's going to have to be Hopping hair. So, thank you all for enjoying my free badges with me and join me next time don't forget to comment below recommend me some nice beers that beers you like things that you think i may like to try as well subscribe to the channel and pop the video a nice thumbs up on that one cheers to you all